Hello there, my name is Mary and I'm a fourth year or final year student studying fashion management at Robert Gordon University. And today I'm going to show you the secret I've discovered to staying organised and on top of all your uni work, coursework and deadlines. And if you were someone who is disorganised like me and you've tried literally everything like a bullet journal, a paper diary, a planner, they do not work for me. I much prefer digital and this is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how I use the app Trello to keep myself on track for university. If you haven't heard of Trello, it's a project management application or software which you can use either on a bro blah, which you can use on a browser on a laptop or a, just an application on your phone as well. Trello is basically like an online corkboard. That's how I use it. You have lists and cards and stuff where you can add links and there's coloured labels. So if you do like bullet journals, you might also like Trello because you can still label things with colours, don't worry. So if you're a student of any sort, Watch this video on your phone, get your laptop out because we are going to walk through together how to set up your very own Trello board for a super productive, organised and much less stressful semester. Yes to organisation! Let's go! Woo! So, I've got my laptop here with me. Oh wait, I'll just do a screen recording, that would be a lot better, wouldn't it? Yeah. This is the board that I used for my last semester and I'm just going to like copy it but I'll make it from scratch so you can see how you would do it too. Um, but these are all the lists I have, so I have modules, coursework to do for this week slash future done and timetable as well. But to make a new board, all you do is click boards, go all the way down, create a new board, add board title, so I'm going to be uni semester 2. And mine is purple because my uni colour is purple, so that's why I'm doing that. Create board. Here is your Trello board. The first thing I'm going to do is add all my lists. So we had modules, coursework, to do for this week, slash future, done, and timetable. Yay! My modules this semester, I give them all um, a little like abbreviation, just because when it syncs with your calendar, um, you'll know which subject it is by the start, because rudely, Trello does not transfer colour labels onto your calendar, so you have to do something so you know which is which. So my modules this semester are fashion buying and forecasting so that's going to be fb women and the media and then my last one is research project or like dissertation sort of thing so that's in there and then you can give them colors oh my god oh, fabulous look at all these lovely colors or you can create a new one and they even have a color blind friendly mode which is amazing okay so now i have all my modules basically in modules i just i'll show you here i just have the module name uh, like code whatever leader coursework due dates reading list link i put some links here but you can also add them as attachments and then what i would do in here is just upload all the handbooks so i've already downloaded the one for fashion buying so you just click attachment but I'm going to do attach on computer, downloads, fashion buying, open. Thanks Trello. And then once you have it there, you can just click on it and it opens up for you. And then you can view it on your phone as well. So it's very, very handy. Thank you. So then I would just go in and do that for all my modules. But I won't bore you with that. So then for coursework. This is where I add in all my deadlines and this is where we begin to sync up with Chronify and then that syncs up with your real calendar. Okay, so Chronify, it's called Power Up. So we'll go to the menu here, click Power Ups uh, and then you just search Chronify and it has a wee preview there but you can sync up like Google Calendar, Apple Calendar, Outlook, probably a couple others. I use it with Apple. Um, and it syncs to my iCloud calendar called University. But once you're here, you can see it's under iCloud, University, cards sync all, but that's only the ones that have a due date, so you won't have like all these random cards just floating about your calendar. Uh, and then you can set the duration. I set mine to one hour because most of my classes are an hour. Um, but then you can go in and change this after, so it's just like the standard one. And you can also set reminders, so that's pretty useful. Update settings, ready to go. So for example, if we are in coursework here, I'm just going to add a card and be like, hi, test, uh, change due date, I'm going to change to February 8th at 1pm, save, save. I'm just going to drag that to the top so I can see it. So if we then go into our calendar, we should have February 8th, 
But yeah, that's just where I keep track of my coursework. And I mainly use it for the due date and so I can see them all in a glance in one list just so I know what's coming up next. And you can change the order so you can put them in order of the dates. The next one I would put in is timetable. And the way I do this is I go onto my uni timetable um, every Sunday, have a look what is in the class that week. And then I'll just write, for example, if I have fashion buying on Monday, which I did today actually, it would be FB lecture. And then I would just go into that do due date, so it would be Monday at 10 a.m. So then I would just type in the room number it's in, so off the top of my head today it was H296 for my university. And then I also write the time for me, because this was a tour class, so it's 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And I do find that sometimes when you write that, the time and description, it, I don't know if I like, recognise that, but it's in calendar. But if it doesn't, all you need to do is go into your real calendar um, and just change the date there and then I'll also update on travel so that's really handy. Uh, so yeah I would just add that in for all my classes for the coming week and then most of the time my classes are the same each week so I would then just go in and change the due date to the next week. But I just have that there because my calendar does change every week and I can see it all on my list again, it's all in one, same one place and it does sync up my calendar so I find it really helpful. Well done, you set up your Trello for uni. Woo! Go you! Go me! The way I then use this, like after I've done all the setting up, is Whenever a teacher says, for next week, I want you to read this chapter or remember about this, I would just go in and note it down on my list called to do for this week future. So if I was in a class and they were like, oh, go away and read this, I'd be like, uh, name, you know, fashion buying, read chapter eight. But then I would just go in and maybe I would add a link to the reading if it's like a PDF or whatever, or I might just write, read chapter eight, blah, 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 here's some notes. Wow, where's that apostrophe? Sorry, I love grammar, I can't leave that out. Okay. And then, the best feeling ever is once it's done, you can drag it into your done pile. And it's nice at the end of the week because you have a big long list of all the stuff you've done. You can put like tiny tasks now or really big things and then break it down. See if you have to do a group presentation, you're like, oh, group presentation, I have to do that. That's quite a big project and like you might not want that on one card because like you can't just really go and do a group presentation and you have to like organise meetings and times and who's doing what, blah blah blah. So what I like about Trello is you can make a checklist. So I just call it checklist. And you can add an item. So for example, I don't know, contact pals, read stuff, write stuff down, send an email, have fun. There we go, there's a list, that's everything you need to do for a group presentation. Uh, once it's there, you can either tick them all off as you go, but what I like is once you decide, like, no, this is, I need to do this now, you can then, so if it's read stuff, you could convert that to a card and it adds it to the list here. I can then add all the notes in here. It's a really good way of breaking down bigger tasks into smaller tasks, which is the main reason I use Child to be honest. I would start a small to do for this week. I have a presentation to give. I'll note that down so I remember. And then when you actually go to like tackle it at home, you can just create your checklist, create all the steps you need to do, and then convert them to cards, and then even make another checklist in there or add notes and just break it down even more step by step. And the more you break it down, the more time you get to drag cards into the done pile, which is like the best part. So yeah, that's like really how I use my Trello. I don't know if that was like in-depth enough, but if you have any questions, just comment below or DM me on Instagram. Really, all you need to remember is it's a project management system. If you want to break down your modules or your coursework into smaller tasks, this is a great way to do it. It syncs to all your devices. Uh, you can sync it to your calendars so and you keep track of due dates and deadlines. You can break down bigger cards into smaller cards and then even smaller cards. You can colour label things. Remember that's important. You can add attachments, links to Google Drive for notes if you want to keep your notes there. It's an amazing way to keep everything in one place. Like if a lecturer tells you what to do, you just note it down and that's out your head and you can go here and be like, right, what do I need to do this week? And it's all there for you. So that's why I use it. I do hope this has been sort of helpful. It has been helpful for me because I now have my board set up for the whole of uni. So that is very exciting. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope it has helped you even just feel more motivated for a more organised semester. But if you do try out cello, oh my god, I keep saying cello because I used to play a cello. Try out Trello. And if you do like it, let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any questions or feedback, also leave them in the comments. I'm just getting back into filming videos, so we've seen how it goes. Check me out on Instagram at Copper Pink, where I post more like uni lifestyle stuff as well as fitness,
fashion and vegan food, I just released a seven day vegan meal plan. So if that interests you at all, good for meal prep if you're a student so you don't have to cook every single day and you can still eat healthily, check out my Instagram. It's all there or my blog at copperpink.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.